The knife and weapons amnesty which we've been running has been at least a partial success. A hacksaw blade. <laughs> a corkscrew. <laughs> and a vicious pair of toenail clippers have already been handed in. And I brought this in, Inspector. It's a Swiss army penknife. Ah, well done, Goody. Confiscated from some juvenile Ned well, no doubt. Oh, no, so that's mine. <laughs> that was a birthday present. And I've also brought these in for you as well. It's six butter knives. <laughs> now, my mum says that you can have the spoons and the forks as well, if you like, because the plastic handles crack in the dishwasher. So there you are. <laughs> Goody, when I asked you to be on the lookout for knives, I didn't mean any old knives. I meant those belonging to the criminal classes. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. I thought this was some sort of Blue Peter appeal. <laughs> Knife amnesties are a waste of time, sir. They're just publicity stunts. I will not have you belittling our achievement, Habib. This corkscrew could cause a very nasty wound. So could a gas cooker, sir, if you dropped it on someone's head. <laughs> Perhaps we should have a kitchen appliances amnesty, sir. <laughs> now, listen here, you naughty... Goody, have you got gum in your mouth? No, sir. Just pretending to chew. I want to look tough for the cameras. <laughs> now, you be careful with these media people, Goody. They're all smiles until they pounce. I shall never forget going along to the Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> when I slapped my family jewels on the table, the man just laughed. <laughs> I've been up all night polishing them as well. <laughs> Deceitful and underhand, a lot of them. Well, I know their game. <laughs> Those Trotsky-eyed BBC swine will have to get up pretty early to catch me with my trousers down. <laughs> have you got a twitch, Goody? No, sir, I just think you should be careful. Oh, don't you worry, boy. I've got the measure of those pernicious snakes. So they're probably <laughs> very nice people, sir. No, oh, don't you be fooled, Gladstone. Debauched dimwits, the lot of them. <laughs> they could be anywhere, sir. They're very sneaky. Ha! After years of gorging themselves on vast lunches at the licensed payers' expense, you can smell their beer-soaked, tobacco-raddled, meat-and-pudding flatulence at a hundred yards. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what I'd heard. 